We are ready to exchange Belgorod for NATO membership? Zelensky. Here's a summary of the article. In response to a question on the possibility of territorial concessions for the sake of Ukraine's membership in NATO, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine was ready to exchange it for the Russian city of Belgorod. Quote, we are ready to exchange Belgorod for our membership in NATO. Details. That is how Zelensky commented on proposals to exchange the territory of Ukraine for peace and NATO membership. On 15 August, Stian Jensen, head of the NATO Secretary General's office, suggested that Ukraine could potentially join the alliance in exchange for its territory. Subsequently, Jensen referred to his proposals to discuss Ukraine's membership of the North Atlantic Alliance in exchange for territorial concessions to Russia as a mistake. NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg, commenting on Jensen's statement, insisted that only Ukraine can decide when conditions for peace negotiations emerge, and Ukrainians are the only ones who can decide which decision is acceptable at the negotiating table. Ukrainska Pravda is the place where you will find the most up-to-date information about everything related to the war in Ukraine. This post received a score of 12,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I was so confused for a second. Same here. I had to check the map. I only recognized it because it's the place Russia, accidentally, dropped a bomb on its own city when it fell from a passing Su-34. It's also been invaded sporadically. By Russia lol well, the Freedom of Russia Legion, which has been fighting alongside the Ukrainians since almost the beginning of the war are, Freedom of Russia. What a G. What a comedia. Wait a second. Gotta think about your long-term career. The joke to end all jokes. As soon as I read the title I started thinking, Hue 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 items BLS? There should be a referendum on the People's Republic of Belgorod to join NATO. But only after we send in a little security. You know, to make sure there's no vote fraud. Where fraud is anyone voting the wrong choice. So a Russian election. Da. That's the joke. Once a comedian, always a comedian. But such a good one. World stage worthy, as most would say. Belgorod should be free from the mass murderers of the Kremlin. But it's a sacrifice the Ukrainian government is willing to make. Priceless. Professional comedian turned politician is still funny. Question mark, question mark, question mark. We've had multiple actors turn to politics here in the U.S. There are a lot of skills that transfer over. Public speaking, how to read a crowd, improvisation. Not a bad set of traits to have in your pocket. Plus you can easily criticize the government via comedy and get a big following. That was John Stewart and Friends shtick. Also why stand-up is often banned in dictatorship. It's the whole, I'm joking, I'm joking, unless, thing. I don't even think John Stewart was joking half the time. He was just stating his opinions while people laughed at him. George Carlin was the same way now that I think about it. Not even joking, just stating his opinions while people laughed at him. It's the delivery. Having a good joke is nice, but you have to nail delivery and you can turn many topics, even serious ones into part of comedy show. I joke about mass shootings at comedy clubs. It kills the audience. I read this headline and was like, dot HMM that doesn't sound right for some reason. Then I read the article and lolled. Cheeky bugger. Question mark question mark. What's the difference between the Zelensky and the Russian space program? When Zelensky makes a joke it actually lands. CIV-6 Tactics At first I was all, what the hell, why is Ukraine suddenly making any concessions at all? They're going to get absolutely steamrolled. Then I remembered I failed high school geography. Funny but also very poignant. Amazing. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.